Todd, welcome to Around Town. I'm telling you, I'm so excited about what's happening today. This is history being made right here in Wilmington, Delaware. Pastor D standing beside me here. But before I get to you, Pastor, I want to introduce Q, who does all the kind of work behind the scenes. I want to thank you for inviting us. Thank you so much. It's good to have you here, Tim. Yeah, and uh, when you kind of talk about what's happening today, I mean, I walked in there and I was totally blown away by what's taking place today. Let's talk about it a little bit. Right. What what, what you see here, Tim, is, is uh, you said it historic. Never happened in the nation before. And what we have is a, a group of uh, formerly incarcerated people from all over America who are serving in prestigious jobs all over America who have come together for the purpose of presenting to the President of the United States a uh, urban initiative for jobs, peace, and the reentry of ex-offenders. Uh, and so w what you essentially have is a bailout plan for the human infrastructure in America to stop the murders and the crime and to help people who are coming out of prison to reintegrate in a positive and lawful way. Yeah, but I was totally amazed when you started introducing the room at, at some of the people in, in the positions within, you know, out there that people don't realize where where these folks came from and where they're at today. I mean, you got you got producers in there from major television shows. You've got ministers from all over the country. I mean, they've all come right here to Port Little Old Wilmington here and, and supporting your, your cause and, and you know, a lot of people behind this. Yeah, for, well, this is the first stop. Today we're here in Wilmington and, and we should be proud because the plan that I did uh, here was with actually President Obama's former senatorial staff around re-entry with uh, uh, Q behind you took place right here in Wilmington. So the initial drilling down on the issue that may be the plan that the president adopts to, to, to address the whole country was conceived right here in Wilmington. That's one. Number two, tomorrow we'll be in Washington, D.C. to the uh, Congressional Black Caucus and another delegation, administration officials presenting this proposal. Proposal. So uh, it's historic, again, uh, uh, as historic as uh, uh, our vice president being from Wilmington. So we're excited today. Well, I, I was really, you know, just touched by the, the the things that were being said in there and everything. When you're talking about the black community, especially brothers killing brothers, I mean, that's one of the biggest issues that's uh, facing us today in, our, in every city out there. I mean, from Aniston, Alabama, you had a gentleman up and, you know, just from all over the country. The same issues that, that's facing Wilmington, we hear about it in Wilmington, but it's happening all over the country right now. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, Tim. And you know, being all around town um, and all the things that you're in, involved in, that there there has to be a urban answer in the black community. But it's not just a black problem. Crime is everybody's problem, and black people are not the only people impacted. But the answers have to come from those of us who have been there and done that, as they say. Uh, and, and so, uh, yes, they're experiencing this problem all over the country, but each city is also unique. It's not custom made like a Cadillac is tailor made like a suit to fit whatever city you're in and we have solutions uh, for every city in America. Yeah and then when you're talking about it Q I was, I was sitting here and I'm look, listening to these guys speaking everything some of these guys like Pastor D going one on one against rival gangs and stepping in the middle of them. I mean, does that scare you a little bit? <laughs> no, it, it doesn't scare me. I think it's really the answer to the uh, problem because we, we, what we're talking about is the people that have been there and done that that can allow those gang members to open up because they see themselves in them. Yeah, I, I was really surprised. I heard you say one thing, then we're going to turn it over to the inside because I want the folks to hear some of this. Uh, but I heard you mention one thing in, in there about going to one group uh, and sitting down and getting those gang members to turn in their guns and everything right there on the spot. Absolutely. It's recent as two days ago we did a uh gang dispute resolution and uh, what we call a ceasefire intervention and and they immediately uh, turned their guns over simply because we have the authority of course I'm a preacher and I, I call that an anointing but you 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 have the same authority people respect you and know you because what they used to call down the earth we call having a street visa today and, and and with this credibility with this favor with people on the street we can wrap our arms around them and maybe help them to make some better decisions safe somebody's life. History being made right here in Wilmington, Delaware. I'm going to step it inside so you guys can catch some of this because there's some great people speaking in there. We'll let you hear some of that and then I'm going to let Brittany interview some of the folks inside. So stay with us. We'll be right back right after this. Thank you, Pastor Day. I think uh, what's so interesting about this meeting, uh, it's been so almost 40 years, I guess, since I've seen this mix of people together where you've got professionals, you've got people from the streets, you've got people from all kinds of backgrounds, and I congratulate you for bringing together all the different thinking that we have here. 
We're back at the NEC um, council meeting right here in Newark, I'm sorry, in Wilmington, Delaware, actually, today. And I'm here with some famous people. Some have you introduced themselves. Uh, my name is Todd Furtado. Um, Lance Furtado, we hail from uh, Southeast Queens, Jamaica, New York. Uh, known as the Furtado Brothers or to the streets, the King of Kings. Mm -hmm. And, and what is this? there's a little bit of BT inspiration in this a little <laughs> bit. Yeah, yeah, a tad bit. Um, we were highlighted on American Gangster, mm -hmm. uh, Lorenzo Fat Cat Nickel series, mm -hmm. which, um, you know, the government, you know, would say that we gave birth to a lot of people that came out of the New York area in the drug world, but only by the grace of God that our lives have changed. Mm -hmm. And we are on the mission to help change the mindset of the younger generation that's thinking that to live a lifestyle that's constantly sending us to jail is something's cool about that, but it's not. Mm -hmm. So we're doing everything that God has blessed us to do, which is use the platform in the right state of mind that gives us a sense of thought to speak a proper word in due season for these young people. Mm -hmm. So why was it so important for you guys to be here in Wilmington, Delaware today? Well, you know, um, about two years ago, we had a another launching and it was the Exodus tour. So the name has been taken over by the National Exodus Council. But here in Wilmington, we launched when uh, then Senator Joe Biden was here and he played a, um, a intricate role in funding our tour here in Delaware. So we felt a very significance to it. And Pastor Derek Johnson being our co-chair plays a vital role also. So we felt it important to launch here in Delaware. That people can expect our viewers in the future from you guys. Oh yes, well as long as um, we have traveling power, along with the uh, National Exodus Council, and individually as photographers, but we're going to travel this nation because we're losing our younger generation at an alarming rate. They're going inside these prison systems and they're not making the proper adjustments while they're on the inside. That when they come home, they don't repeat the same mistakes that they made. What we want to do is do the best we can to stop them from going in, and if we can't stop them from going in, and when they're coming out, we're going to do the best we can to stop that and reverse that curse. Thank you. And lastly, is there anywhere that people can go to find out more about what you guys are doing, the movements that you're making? Well, you know, you can go a little bit of everywhere, from the mosque space to the uh, black page. I mean, you can just Google the Furtado <laughs> Brothers, and you'll get a wealth of information. And as Todd made mention, you know, we have a unique approach of, you know, educating our youth, motivating them, and inspiring them to reach their full potential despite the elements that continue to surround them. And we use um, documentaries, you know, our documentary now is one of the most informative anti-drug educational documentaries on the market. And we're about to release King of Kings Part 2. We're about to do um, a book on our life story. And all of these are tools just to motivate and inspire our youth, to help them understand that you know, it was made mention earlier today that someone said they got lost in a life of sin at the age of 14. Well, we got lost in that life at the tender ages of 11, 12, and 13, you know, and we walked in it for 25 years. So if we can change, so can you. So we use our lives, you know, just to inspire on its own. Yeah, thank you very much. And, and if you want to find out more about the Furtado Brothers, Google F-E-U-R-T-A-D-O Brothers. Mm -hmm. It'll give you a world of information and contact numbers. Um, we thank you for just giving us the time to fellowship with Delaware. Thank you very much. And again, great inspirational message. And I hope you guys are watching more of the show. It was a great thing to be at today. So if you weren't here, I wish you could have been here. Again, this is Around Town. I'm Brittany. And keep watching Delaware Channel 28. Mm -hmm.